Hi there. This is a sequel to our initial video on uterine fibroid. Today we're going to talk about the surgical removal of fibroid, myomectomy. In a previous video, I talked about uterine fibroid. If you have not watched that video, I recommend you visit my channel and watch it before coming to this one. Now, what is myomectomy? Myomectomy is an operation done to remove non-cancerous lumps, known as fibroids, from a woman's womb. Many women have fibroids without complaints, but when they cause heavy bleeding, pain, or make it hard to get pregnant, a doctor might recommend removing them. Myomectomy removes only the fibroids and leaves the womb in place, which is important if the woman still wants to have children. What are fibroids? Fibroids are growths that form in or on the uterus. What are the reasons a doctor may recommend your fibroid be surgically removed? 1. Desire to preserve fertility. Women who wish to have children in the future and have fibroids interfering with conception or pregnancy. Fibroid can block the tubes and prevent conception. 2. Heavy menstrual bleeding, menorrhagia. When fibroids cause prolonged or very heavy periods that lead to anemia or affect quality of life. 3. Pelvic pain or pressure. Large or multiple fibroids causing chronic pain, pressure, or discomfort, sometimes during sex. 4. Rapidly growing fibroids. Suspicion of cancer or other complications from fast growth. 5. Recurrent miscarriage. Especially when fibroids distort the uterine cavity or block the fallopian tubes. 6. Pressure symptoms on bladder or bowel. Frequent urination, difficulty emptying bladder, constipation, or rectal pressure. 7. Abnormally enlarged uterus, causing visible abdominal swelling or discomfort. This mostly presents with cosmetic concerns. 8. Failed medical management. When medications or less invasive treatments don't relieve symptoms. There are several ways fibroid can be removed, and the choice depends on the size, number, and location of the fibroids, as well as the patient's symptoms, health status, and fertility goals. The main types are abdominal myomectomy, open surgery, laparoscopic myomectomy, robotic assisted laparoscopic myomectomy, hysteroscopic myomectomy. Let's talk about them in details. 1. Abdominal myomectomy, open surgery. This is a traditional surgery where the surgeon makes an incision, cut, through the lower abdomen, either horizontally along the bikini line or vertically, to access and remove the fibroids directly from the uterus. This is the commonest type. What are the indications for this method? It is indicated when the fibroids are large, numerous or deeply embedded in the uterine wall. Advantages it is suitable for complex cases. It gives direct access to the uterus. And all fibroids can be removed in one procedure. Disadvantages, longer hospital stay, 2 to 3 days. Longer recovery time, 4 to 6 weeks. Larger scar. More postoperative pain. 2. Laparoscopic myomectomy. This is a minimally invasive surgery. Small incisions, usually three or four, are made in the abdomen. A thin tube with a camera, known as laparoscope, and special instruments are inserted to locate and remove the fibroids. The surgeon operates the instruments remotely and observes the procedure through the camera. This is indicated for moderate-sized fibroids fewer in number and fibroids on the outer surface or wall of the uterus. What benefits does this method offer? It leaves smaller scars. There's much less blood loss. Shorter hospital stay, one day or less. Faster recovery, two to four weeks. Less pain after surgery. Disadvantages, it may not be suitable for large or multiple fibroids. It is technically challenging and requires surgeons not just experienced in myomectomy, but also experienced in laparoscopic surgery. It tends to be more expensive and sometimes, the procedure may need to be converted to open surgery when things are not going as planned. 3. Hysteroscopic myomectomy. This is a less invasive technique where the surgeon removes fibroids that are located inside the uterine cavity using a hysteroscope inserted through the vagina and cervix. It is indicated in smaller submucosal fibroids located inside the uterine cavity. Advantages. 
there is no abdominal incisions. It is usually done as an outpatient procedure. It requires minimal recovery time, one to two days. And fertility often improves dramatically in this cases as submucous fibroid almost always distort the uterine cavity drastically reducing fertility. Disadvantages, it is not suitable for fibroids outside the cavity or deep within the uterine wall. It may require multiple sessions for large or multiple fibroids. 4. Robotic surgery, similar to laparoscopy but done with robotic help for more precise removal. Choosing the right type of myomectomy. Factors that determine the appropriate type of myomectomy include size, number, and location of fibroids. Woman's age and fertility goals. Overall health condition. Surgeon's experience and available equipment. Before the surgery, the doctor may ask for scans, ultrasound or MRI to see the fibroids. Blood tests. Medicines to shrink the fibroids or reduce bleeding. A talk about the risks and how it may affect having children later. After the surgery, recovery. Hospital stay will last from a few hours to three days depending on the type. Full recovery, for open surgery, four to six weeks. For laparoscopy or robotic, two to four weeks. For hysteroscopy, one to two days. Pain, tiredness, and bloating are normal at first. Rest and avoid heavy work or sex until cleared by a doctor. What are the possible complications? There could be bleeding or infection. Fibroids have a tendency to grow back. Internal scar tissue could form which could lead to organ adhesion. There's a rare chance of damage to nearby organs. Rarely, the uterus may tear in a future pregnancy. Fertility and pregnancy after myomectomy. One of the main reasons women choose myomectomy is to improve their chances of having a baby. After the surgery, many women are able to get pregnant naturally. It's usually best to wait six months before trying to conceive. Depending on how deep the fibroids were, the doctor might recommend a cesarean section for delivery. The uterus is weaker after surgery, so careful monitoring during pregnancy is important. There is a small risk that new fibroids may grow and cause problems again. If you've had trouble getting pregnant due to fibroids, myomectomy can often improve fertility, but not always. The outcome depends on age, the number and size of fibroids, and other health factors. Conclusion Myomectomy is a good choice for women who have painful or heavy periods caused by fibroids and still want to have children. It removes the fibroids but keeps the uterus. Recovery can take time, and there are some risks, but many women feel better and can go on to have healthy pregnancies after the surgery. Thanks for listening. Please like, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be notified when I release